But what I love about vinyl is the artwork, is the poor man's art collection. Hypnosis created the most important artwork in the world. All that work has stood the test of time. London was lawless in the late 60s. Everybody was smoking dope, sitting around listening to music, and I was introduced to this guy with long hair. Storm was like the leader of this pack. It came as a double act, but they were like chalk and cheese. I'm described by some as really awkward, by some as a narcissist. He was insufferable. He could be really crabby. <laughs> Storm and I were joined at the hip like brothers. They came in, they became a part of us. By the mid-70s, the money was gushing in. I mean, they're hucksters. They are a bit shady. That record came out of the reject box. This is a famous box with all the ideas that no one else wanted. If Pink Floyd didn't take them, three weeks later they'd appear on someone else's record. And there's a picture of a lobster. Paul McCartney used that one. <laughs> I think I'll have to talk to someone about that. The work was the most important thing of all. We were relentless and obsessed. They were always off the wall, always doing the unexpected. And if the, dam breaks the only way to make it look for real was to set him on fire. Storm said, we'll just get a picture of a cow. Paul McCartney called me up and he said, I want to put it on Everest. <laughs> they represent the golden age of the music business. It was the most expensive cover that we did. That cover was better than the album. <laughs>